I'm back on the rooftop of the Performing Arts Lodge in downtown Toronto and I I'm with Brian Kolbeck, my friend, and again, the hardest working actor in show business. Hi, Brian. Hey, Glenda, how are you? Oh, fine. It, it's so weird we're working together again after all these years of working as actors, and now you're a producer, I'm the publicist for He Who Watches, um, it's currently in the works, waiting for the green light. Oh. And uh, cool. But I tell you, right, you have had such an amazing career. I don't think you've ever been out of work. And I remember you and I worked together, similar situation, on Shazam a few years back. Yes. How was that? That was so exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, Shazam was a lot of fun. And uh it was a great role. Mm -hmm. I, had, I had so much fun on that. Yeah. And the most fun of all for me was that when I originally got cast, yep. uh, they said, uh, we're going to guarantee you two days of work. Yeah. You know? And uh, I was happy to get it. <laughs> uh, but two days yep. turned into 14. That's fantastic. And by the way, yeah. anybody that watches that, I did my own stunts. So that was kind of fun too. That was amazing. I love your end of movie rant. That was my favorite. Well, they, they cut a lot yeah. out of that rant. It, it, that was a great uh, piece of dialogue there, and I was uh, a little disappointed that they cut about three quarters yeah. out of the movie. But I guess that's to say. You know, it, as they say, shit happens. That's right. <laughs> but you were also a longtime cast m member on the internationally acclaimed, award winning Murdoch Mysteries TV series. Yes, and uh, yeah, uh, they're shooting their 15th and 16th yep. season. Uh, season eight, I went to prison for oh. killing another constable. Oh. And damn it, wouldn't you know, uh, William Murdoch uh, uh, discovered that I was the one that murdered that constable. Oh, no. So I went to prison for a couple of years. So I was yep. out of the show for a couple of seasons. And then the writers were so nice, they wrote me back in that I was released from prison. Yep. I guess I had a good lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I came back and uh, got a job working as a bartender. So. Oh, I remember, and I remember watching yeah. you. That was so cool. Yeah. What other memorable TV shows or movies have you been in that we can watch for? Oh, that you will be. You know, 10 page resume. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, I, I did a great little comedy film, uh, very a small independent production, and I think it's quite good, and you can watch it on YouTube, yep. and it's called Filth City. Oh, so, and that's about our previous uh, mayor, wasn't the mayor, it? Mayor. Uh, uh, Rob Ford. Rob Ford, yes. Yep. But oh, my gosh. That was very well done. Yeah. And uh, uh, I played a... a a cop on there that as well but uh, <laughs> so you have an honest face you get cast as cops <laughs> yeah except for the murdering the other cop I think. <laughs> yeah yeah but it's it's uh it's been fun you know and uh some of the uh memorable shows i've been on well a lot of uh, you know i did for over 14 years just doing uh, standing in for the stars really and it all got started in 1982 Strange Brew, 1982. Oh my God, and Rick I, Moranis, Dave Thomas. And yeah. I was Dave uh, Dave Thomas's uh, stand-in and oh photo God. double on that. And <laughs> that's where, but you know what? I just love this industry. And yeah. after 49 years, by 49th year, this uh, this September, mm -hmm. we're into October now. But um, and I'm just uh, still very excited about the industry, and uh, I, I still like the work. Yeah, and I, I just, I just want to stay active. So next year is the fiftieth. We have to start planning a big party. See if we can get Actra to throw you a tribute. <laughs> well, uh, I don't even care if Actra does it. Uh, if, if he who watches, yes, ask away E2. <gasps> That's what I'm hoping for. Spring, summer of 2022. Oh. Uh, that would be perfect. Yep. I would step down with my producer duties and just become uh, the actor. Captain Black, yes. the actor, and uh, we've got some good plans. We want to bring in an indigenous directors for yep. those episodes, and we're hoping to do any, we're hoping to sell six, eight, or ten episodes. Yep. That's our idea. At least two million per episode, but we'll just have to wait and see. And that will be the anniversary present. Yay! That would be a beautiful anniversary. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed from yep. my end too. Thanks for taking time to chat with me, Brian. Thanks, Glenda.